Now, if you're seeing this screen when you boot up your computer and you don't know your passcode or you forgot it, well, this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna go over the variety of methods of actually unlocking BitLocker, and their chances are you didn't even set this. Microsoft has actually gone in, and anybody that has TPM, or basically a chip inside your computer that encrypts things, it'll just automatically enable this feature and encrypt all your data to where you can't get to it unless you get your recovery key. So let's go over the variety of different methods that we can do to get that key for you. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways and I'll actually show how to back it up after this as well. So let's just jump on the desktop and go over the first way. Now on your desktop, uh, the very first way you can do this, or if you don't have another computer to do this, all you need to do is pull up your phone and up at the top portion, just go support.microsoft.com and then sign in. Once you've signed in, you can actually click it come down to my Microsoft account. And from this, you, you have something called devices and you just wanna click all devices. Now you might see a bunch of different uh, devices on here. Uh, if you're unsure of your device name, I uh, just go through each one. But if you do have access to the desktop, you can always figure out what you've named your computer by holding the windows key and pressing pause and break. This tells me this one's desktop dash one sun M 53 and it's this guy right here so we'll just click manage and go to security and protection and then you can see your bit locker detection right here right now it's turned off uh, but if this is turned on you can actually click recover keys uh, the screen would look very much like this and you'd simply click recover key and then it would spit out that key for you uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do if you have to do it through a phone or a tablet uh, but still doable this actual address for businesses is called devicemanagement.microsoft.com. If you can't get to this site because Microsoft changes the addresses of these things all the time just to wreak hell on our lives or make it so you have to have someone like me to manage your business, I don't know what, but you just basically come into here. Right now it's endpoint.microsoft.com or devicemanagement.microsoft.com. Go to devices and something's going wrong here right now. But we could usually go ahead and look at the devices that are here, click them. Um, let's see if I can't just see by Windows devices and enrollment. Uh, right now they're actually having an outage, so I can't show you the exact thing. But usually you just come right into all devices. You can select the actual devices in your inventory and then uh, go to the monitor section. And then from the monitor section, uh, go ahead and click recovery keys. I'll put that whole uh, how to right here up on the screen. So if you want to pause it and do it for your business, you can. Now past that, we still have other ways. Once you have, or once you're able to get into the system, I do recommend doing a full backup. Uh, and to do that, let's just type in search here, go BitLocker. We want manage BitLocker from here. And you can see right now, BitLocker is on. So like, we can remove BitLocker from this screen. And if you're wondering where it is, it's under control panel, system security, BitLocker drive encryption. I could easily just say, turn off BitLocker to disable BitLocker. Or if I wanted to, I wanna back up my recovery key so I don't wanna type all that in again, by all means, uh, save it to a file or print it out and have it on paper if you prefer. I highly recommend signing in or saving it to your Microsoft account or putting it on a USB drive. These are the easiest because then you can easily just import them and you never really lose them. But if you're really good at keeping paper, I'm terrible at it. That's why I prefer the first two options. Uh, just pick, pick your poison here and that way you can easily get into your system. Now, before you go, I will say I've had three laptops in the past month or two come in to me with this in. Feature updates can trigger this recovery. So anytime a system goes through a big update, this can brick your laptop basically because you're unable to get in. Also, I saw this on a Dell, HP, Lenovo, and a variety of different ones out there. So those are the three that I've seen it on as those laptops have been brought to me and like, hey, I don't know what the password is. So be careful. This is how you recover it. And hopefully this helps somebody out there. Let me know in the comments. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.